We've got all our tasks put in, and we've got our resources put in. Let's go ahead and tie the two together so that when a task happens, we actually have a resource that does it, and our costs are all accumulated. I'm going to go up to the Resource tab, and I'm going to assign resources. I get this wonderful little dialog box. This is a wonderful little dialog box, believe me. Uh, and I'm going to use it to assign my resources. So I'm going to go to the first task. Now the first task is a summary task, so I don't need to assign anybody there. And the second one is a summary task as well, but the stakeholder register completed is not a summary task, so I'm going to assign people to it. And uh, you'll notice I'm just going to click in there. And now I've got my champion automatically selected. Actually, it just selected the first person. But uh, that would basically be my champion. Uh, and I would select him, so I'm going to click him and assign him. And uh, I would also select my IT project manager. And uh, now I have those two assigned to the cause. You'll notice that uh, they're all ready to go. They're 100%. And it's got the cost of them, each of them there. So I'm, I'm about done, so I'll go ahead and close this out. And if I go up here to my resource name and expand that out, I've got two people assigned. And it's got their job titles just as they appear on the resource sheet. Let's go here and assign something a little bit more complex. We'll assign a work resource and a material resource and a cost resource. So I've gone to my resource tab and I'm going to assign my resources and I'm going to pull this dialog box up here so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is actually select three things. One is a work resource. Uh, we'll also select a material resource and then we'll actually select a cost resource. So let me show you how this works as far as the financial goes. Uh, you notice that our key cards are actually material. So if I go here and click in this particular frame and I up it to two cards and then click outside, it says, oh, two cards are going to cost you 10 bucks. That's exactly what I expected. But what about the permit? That doesn't have a cost associated with it yet. So I'm just going to click in there, and I'm going to use my keyboard and just type in the, the cost, which was uh, $256. And click outside that area, and there's my cost all entered. And you'll notice that those same numbers appear here in my resource assignment area. 